the Bedford Level Experiments, birthplace of modern flat earthism. It is a misconception that most people during the Middle Ages thought that the Earth was flat. The idea of the world being flat was actually just as ridiculous as it is today. People have known that the Earth is round for thousands of years. There has, however, always been so-called free thinkers that, for various reasons, wants to challenge the mainstream scientific consensus. Flat earthers, although small in numbers, has always been around. Today, we are looking back 150 years to see how scientists dealt with flat earthers back then. As you are soon about to find out, things has not really changed that much. The old Bedford River is an artificial river in the fence of Cambridgeshire, England. At a certain point, the river turns into a slow-flowing drainage canal that runs for 9.7 kilometers straight. Here's where Samuel Burley Robotham, also known as Parallax, an English inventor and writer from London, came to perform his most famous experiments. Robotham's model is a flat earth, with a north pole at the center and ice wall at the edge, and all the celestial bodies floating just a few hundred miles above. This is basically from where modern-day flat earthers have gotten their ideas from. Robotham deemed that the 9.7 kilometer long section of the river was perfect for proving the earth was flat. He waded into the river and used a telescope just 20 centimeters over the surface to watch a boat with a flag on its mast row away from him. He reported that the boat remained in his view for the full 9.7 kilometers at the Welney Bridge. Robotham expected that the top of the mast should have been 3.4 meters below his line of sight if the earth was round. The main flaw on this experiment was that Robotham had the telescope too close to the water, which resulted in refraction, which means he would be able to see objects beyond the curve. A fan of Robotham's John Hampton decided to challenge traditional scientists and offered a wager that he could prove the earth was flat by remaking the canal experiment. Unfortunately for Hampton, noted naturalist Alfred Russell Wallace accepted the wager. Wallace avoided the errors made by Robotham and set the sight line 4 meters above the surface instead of 0.2 meters to reduce the effects of the refraction. Wallace also famously added a pole with two red discs in the middle, so that the bump caused by the Earth's curvature would be visible. Hampton and Wallace each had their own referee, and they made sketches of the image that was displayed in the telescope. Sketches of Welney Bridge here displayed upside down, exactly as it looked like in the telescope. The middle pole, which demonstrated the bulge of the Earth, was clearly higher up compared to the Welney Bridge. This was the deciding factor, and both referees announced Wallace to be the winner. Hampton refused to believe the conclusive evidence and spent several years in legal processes, and he even sent death threats to Wallace. Even today, flat earthers are skeptical to the experiment, and many are calling Wallace out for cheating, without any evidence whatsoever, of course. The story doesn't end here. In 2016, a group of modern-day flat earthers decided to remake the Robotham experiment. Due to a series of mistakes, the test didn't go as planned. Instead of wading in the canal, they stood on a bridge which made their viewer height about 3.25 meters. Much higher than the 0.2 meters from the original experiment, by the way. This made it possible to see above the bulge, so that it's even easier to see the Welney Bridge 9.7 kilometers away. They lost sight of their friend in the canoe, but they were still happy that they could see cars of the Welney Bridge 9.7 kilometers away. They triumphantly stated that there was absolutely no evidence of a round earth due to this fact, 
But as we can see in green, in this diagram, they actually didn't prove anything other than that it's possible to see Velny Bridge from a distance of 9.7 kilometers and a viewing height of 3.25 meters. Exactly as predicted by the round earth model. When all results are in, it's a round world, now and it's always been.